I tell people all the time, you go out there, you talk to your waitresses and waiters. You know, I checked into another gym the other day, uh, two days ago. I went with, with Dan, and we went in there, and, and just a great time. And, but I, I went over to get a towel from, because I didn't bring a towel with me. I went to the desk, and, and they have this can there, and it says, tips for karma or something like that. I think that's what it says. Do you know what it says? It says I don't know. It says, tip, tip for good karma or, or something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't, I just, I tried to live by karma my whole life. There's just, man, it's, it's a roller coaster. Serious. And I'm like, man, I, I looked at them and I go, you know what? I said, a towel cost me a buck. You guys take tips. I said, well, look, I said, I, I can't tip for karma, but I can bless you because God loves you and God so loved the world that he gave. So I'll just give. Is that cool? They're like, okay. So I shared my testimony, and I'm sharing how I was a drug addict. I share, I share how I was an atheist and hated the church, and I was so angry. I was so mad. I never really saw anybody that modeled anything that I wanted because everybody was about their own thing. You know, for 34 years, I walked this earth, and not one person came up to me and told me how much Jesus loved me. Never. And we say, well, that's the evangelist's job. Man, do you know how many Christians I might have walked by in 34 years? Do you know how many Christians you walk by in a day? Do you know how many Christians you probably walk by in 365? Do you know how many Christians you might walk by in a year? Come on, man. If the shoe fits, kick it off. It's not your shoe, okay? Do you know how many Christians people walk by in 10 years? Do you know how many people I walk by that actually believe in Jesus but only for a building? And only for what they can get from God. You guys okay? Some of you are angry. <laughs> Smile. Jesus loves you. I'm not mad. All I'm doing is preaching the truth. Because if conviction comes, God can transform you. It's not condemnation. It's not guilting you into going and stepping out more. Guilt won't do it. Because then you step out and you're guilty if you don't step out again. That's not it at all. Being convicted and realizing that one day, see, one day, regardless of what you believe, one day, everyone is going to bow. No, one day, every knee will bow. Every knee. And right now, I have the ability, when no one's looking, to be on mine on a constant basis. Because that's where I like to live. When I'm by myself, when I'm in my secret place, even when I'm on airplanes sometimes, it just depends. But I like to be in a place of on my knees so I can know my Father. So that I can be completely convicted on a constant basis and realize that one day everyone's going to be bow, there's going to bow their knee. And I have the, the ability through humbleness and through being humble and meekness, receiving the implanted word, I talked about it last night, that is able to save your soul. That's the salvation of my soul. I am able to get in there, to get in the word and to ask God to create in me the reality of what it means to walk like Jesus. I have the permission of my father to get in there to study and show myself approved. I have the a reality of the secret place in my life and his priority so that I can look like Jesus. My Bible says to be an imitator of God, dear children. Jesus said, be an imitator of me. God said that he always leads us in triumph. Oh, well, listen to this. God always leads us in a victory parade in Christ. This is what the Bible says. It's so amazing. God always leads me in a victory parade in Christ. But if I have to feel like it's a victory parade, I might be big time deceived. Well, God, when I feel you, then I'll step out. Man, I, I hardly ever feel God. I have the compassion. I am compelled by the love of Christ. The love of Christ compels me. It's in me, and I have to let him out. Christ in me is the hope of glory. But Christ manifesting himself through me is that glory being revealed. And all creation is groaning for somebody to walk like Jesus on this planet. And everybody has the same ability, the same permission. The only one that holds you back is you. And the only reason you're held back is life is more important than him. 
Come on, man, I'm not being mean, I'm being real. We're about to get really intense. This is awesome. I'm not mad at anybody. I just love Jesus and I hate lies. I live in truth. I am not possessed by a lie. A lie can't hold me down. The devil can't stop me. He should have killed me when he had the chance. It's too late now. I'm done. 